First of all, I'd like to say that this is a very humbling experience. I'm also very honored to be here. I'm honored to be selected by the Galt Joint Union High School District as their Teacher of the Year. At Galt High School, we have one of the top ag mechanic welding programs in the state. It's been accomplished through many, many hours of hard work. And so it also could not have been accomplished with the help of many people. I'd like to thank my family, my agriculture department colleagues, the Galt High School Administration, our district office, office administration, and our school board. Uh, whenever you have a vocational class, you need support of many players to be successful. Now, we all know that David Letterman has a top 10 list on his late night program. <laughs> well, I have a list, the top 10 steps to be a successful teacher. Number 10, don't be afraid to ask for help. Whether it be computers, purchase orders, classroom management, welders or curriculum, if you need help, just ask. Number nine, listen to your fellow teachers. Even though you might not always agree with their criticism or advice, think about it. It might be beneficial to you as a teacher. Number eight, be respectful and willing to work with administrators. If you don't work with your administrators, it's going to be hard to get anything done. There's no way I could have done what I did in the classroom without their help, and the kids are the ones who benefit. Number seven, be kind to all secretaries. <laughs> we all know that the secretaries are the, real, the ones who really run the school and the district office. Be kind to them. Number six, listen to your students. Quite often, Suggestions or complaints from students can lead to small changes that make you a better teacher. Number five, think outside the box. How many times have we thought, you know, heard that? Don't be afraid to change things. If changing things is what best for the students, do it. Number four, set your goals and standards high. My goal every year is to have the best high school welding program in the state. And the students are asked to do their very best every day. Number three, give your students some love. You know, in class, just a simple pat on the back or a high five can make their day. Number two, be positive and enthusiastic about what you teach. If you are bored, so are your students. <laughs> Show them what you are teaching is important. You know, if I'm going to talk about electrode selection in class, I am going to be fired up. <laughs> Okay, number one on the 10 steps to be a successful teacher, love working with children. Why else do we teach? Because we love working with kids. Thank you.